Hey, <clears throat> lovely to see you again. It's Nadine here. I just had some nice chilling time in the pool. Um, for some reason, I feel very tired today. Yesterday, I was high on energy after the weekend, but yesterday it was 11-11 here. And I, I really felt the 11-11 like an, an energetic portal, like a gate opening. So I wanted to share that with you today. And um, I think it's still settling down. And that can sometimes happen when you have this, this shift where, where you suddenly go next level, where you suddenly think like, oh yeah, I, I now see this gate opening in front of me. I can see a way forward. Then the next day that might knock you a bit off your socks. So I got chickens behind me. You might see some movement there. I got dogs at my feet, as you know, always got horses there, alpacas there. Um, so there's going to be background noise. You all know that if you follow me for a while. Um, today, what I want to offer, let's check with my guidance. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it. Um, is to share that opening of the gate which comes through to the heart chakra so we're gonna we're gonna bring in all of you who are watching this i'm gonna make sure you all have this extra light coming into your heart chakra so that as from now on you can start moving forward in the next decade in in the next paradigm you know we are shifting there's so many things we're still in that birthing channel where so many things are painful and uncomfortable we might feel a bit like obi he wants to go out and run after chooks and he can't and you might feel like you want to run after something and the reason we have not been able maybe to run after things is because we were not meant to run after them we are coming now in in a place and a time where we are gonna allow things coming from us and from the heart. We are gonna grow our businesses from the heart and people who work with me one-on-one, -on -one, they, they know I help to support that, that it becomes an easy thing. It comes from flow. It's not and a push and a pull and a 10 steps. No, it's all nice and easy. So let's do this together. I'm gonna to put my phone on silent. So I don't want to get interrupted while I do this. Um, and I want you to just put your hands on your, on your heart, your heart chakra. We're going to take a deep breath in and out. And see if you can feel like a flutter happening when you, when you have your hands on your heart chakra. See what comes up for you. And out. And just relax all through your body. And once you establish a connection of, with your heart, once you can feel your heart, I want you to imagine that it is starting to light up from the inside out. Like put a candle inside your heart and light it up. And if you see on the walls of your heart, you, put, you bring your, your consciousness within, so you have your little candle there and look around. And if you see dark spots in your heart or crust, I want you to just say, please divine light, come down into the body and heal those spots. Remove all the black spots that I can see. Let's do this all together, removing all the black spots within your heart. They're like callisters, you know, you were hurt over and over again. And then we build a wall around the heart chakra and there's some pieces that are always thicker than other ones. So when you do this and you bring the light within the heart and really feel it lighting up from inside, that is opening up opening up the heart and making it lighter. You want to have your heart as light as possible. I heard today on a video that the Egyptians, they actually apparently took the weight of the heart and it had to be light as a feather. But 
because everything is energy, everything is vibration. The vibration within our heart is one of our most important vibrational levels. So as you lighten that up, lighten that up and make it more fine-tuned energy, from there, you can then create within this world, within the three dimension, three dimensions, you can start creating heartfelt, heartfelt relationships, heartfelt businesses, um, a heartfelt career, and not just something that you do because people tell you to do. We have now finished a big cycle, a 13 year cycle with Pluto. And I don't know, I'm not an astrologist, but I, I do follow some astrologers and I realize we have just finished this huge 13 year cycle. And we're going to start moving forward. We're really doing that. So keep lightening up the heart, bring in that light, go to those dark spots and say, I want them lightened up energetically. Checking in again. So yes, I can feel, I can feel my heart becoming lighter. I can, I can feel the light shining even through the cracks as you remove the calluses. It might be a crack underneath, but that's where Leonard Cohen says, that's where the light can shine through both ways. And you deserve, don't forget, you deserve to have ease in your life, to be loved, to, to have a lightness of being. I have this book, The Unbearable Lightness of Being, but it's not what I'm talking about. Um, I'm good at distracting myself again, am I not? I just want you to start feeling that the way you're going to go forward is, a, is an amazing way, that you got this, and that you have um, a beautiful connection with your heart chakra. That's what we're working on. So let me know how this went. Let me know when you've shown all this light within your heart, whether you could sense it, whether you could feel it, and whether that portal that opened as you opened that chakra, as you could feel that you're going into this next dimension. Okay, that's it. And sending you lots of love. Bye for now. And talk to you next week. 